Hello everybody, Caden here today with another episode of our Jurassic World Reborn series. And today we are back and building up a, uh, a desert exhibit, which I think is actually the first desert themed build we've done on this, this world. And ironically, this is a build I had intended to do months ago and just kind of never got around to it. Uh, but we are doing, obviously, you've seen through like the title and the thumbnail, whatever, the post -Asukas. A pretty, pretty cool looking animal overall. Uh, and yeah, we go for a Mesa themed exhibit for it. Pretty reminiscent of the Megalania exhibit I did uh, in the survival dinos world. But I think it turns out pretty well. I think it fits the, the whole creature pretty well and looks awesome and whatnot. <laughs> oh man, my commentary skills are just not in today, are they? Uh, what a shame, what a shame. Tends to happen though, doesn't it? Tends to happen. Um, <laughs> anyway, so there's a weird thing you're going to notice uh, towards the end of the build. Basically, I had originally planned this to be a two-build episode, so I was going to build this and then another dinosaur in this exact same theme, uh, but I ended up just sticking with the Postasuchus even though I started the other exhibit because, I don't know, I just felt like it would be more fun to make a separate episode and work on more desert stuff there and kind of figure out more which dinosaurs I wanted to do because I... I mean, I had the idea for the exhibit, I just didn't have an idea of exactly what animal was going to go in it, so I figured I should kind of plan all that out a bit more uh, before we jump into another project. So yeah. Anyway, uh, most of this build just came down to building the actual, like, uh, what, cliff walls, and I think it's kind of funny because I don't think I've done... Well, I was about to say, I don't think I've done too many of these. Uh, obviously the whole swamp area is like this, so ignoring the swamp area, uh, I haven't done too many exhibits that are just rock walls, and I'm kind of proud of that. You know, we've, we've, we've done a bit better in avoiding doing those, but obviously not completely. Uh, yeah, I forgot the whole swamp area existed, <laughs> and that is all exhibits like this. That's funny. Well, I guess it's been a long time since I built those. Those were like uh, January and December, so... Yeah, no, no, that, that was a really long time ago. Kind of weird. Anyway! Uh, yeah, so here we're just ba building up the uh, cliff walls for the whole build. Um, not really all that complicated. I'm building them out of just plain terracotta originally, so that way I can just go through, add in all the stripes later. Uh, so we, could, what was it, or the bands of extra color to make it look a bit more interesting. I don't know if I got them exactly right. I think I should. I feel like I would mess around with them a bit more if I went back and did it again. I think the problem more just came about that this isn't a very big exhibit or like super tall. So I didn't have a ton of room to mess around with all the colors that I wanted to, so I think that kind of eh, ended up being a bit detrimental to it. But it still looks pretty good in the end, and I'm still pretty pretty happy with how it turned out, but there are certainly a few improvements that could have been made to it overall, I guess. You never know, you never know. Um, well, I guess I would know if I went back and tried to <laughs> improve it and see how those went, but uh, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, that's the basic shape. It's not a tremendously big exhibit, and it, it's kind of fun. Well, actually, this and the last episode were both really fun to do, in a way, just because since they were smaller builds, I got to do more with the actual, like, build overall, instead of just, you know, like, kind of trying to hobble something together <laughs> that's, you know, about, like, 8,000 times the size of a normal exhibit I would build. Uh, but yeah, these smaller ones, I get to do more with them. Like, I actually get to build cool terrain, and I get to add in all these fun details and all this kind of stuff that I don't get to do with, you know, something like the Hadrosaur exhibit or a T-Rex exhibit or something else, you know, where, like, I need a ridiculous amount of space to, to build, which is kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, here you can see me adding in a couple bands of color. Um, I do think I got the colors in the wrong, like, order or sequence, I guess, so they didn't quite mesh properly. And, oh, you know, I, oh, is that what I did in the past? I did, like, a, a too wide band of color in the other times I've tried this. Okay, yeah, so I'm starting to remember some of the things uh, <laughs> that I've done better with this kind of build in the past. But, you know what, maybe I'll go and throw those in. Maybe we'll do that next episode when we uh, do the other desert exhibit. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of see what happens there. Um, but, yeah. Overall, uh, I don't really have too much else to say about this. Uh, it's not a particularly long build. I mean, the episode's pretty short overall. Uh, but yeah, I'll just let the rest of this play out, and I'll catch up with you guys to show you the final exhibit.
All right, everybody, here we are with the final build, and I have to say I'm pretty happy with it. I think I think it turned out pretty well overall. Also, I think there's a bit of the lighting issue just because, uh, well, when you have a ton of animals in, uh, it tends to cause issues with shaders, which is absolutely phenomenal and my favorite thing ever about this mod. Anyway... <laughs> Um, yeah, we went for a pretty cool little Mesa build. I think it's, I don't know, I really love the look of this. It's actually in a lot of ways very similar to uh, the Megalania exhibit I did on my survival dinos world. But yeah, I think this turned out well. I really love this uh, little shade thing with the leaves. I think this looks kind of cool. Kind of accentuates the feel I wanted for this build. And I don't know, kind of kind of makes the viewing area a bit nicer. Because uh, it was a bit odd just to have it, you know, well completely open and kind of weird like that but anyway any hoozle um yeah pretty happy with the exhibit overall not too complicated i'm trying to think like where the time lapse didn't really show so i guess i should just fly around and kind of like show you all the the whole build but yeah it's looking pretty good um obviously over here we have another build and i was originally going to make this into one big episode to so get two animals in one go uh but i didn't feel like it and i was like you know i, I I might, I might save this one. Guess this is another deserty kind of build like this one, and I kind of wanted to do that next time because I felt like you know that was a lot of fun to do. So I'd like to do another one. So why not save that? Uh, but yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's kind of that. Um, obviously, once again, of course, we're kind of winding all this down. Um, I, I can't remember exactly. So obviously, we've got another animal planned for there. There is a secret animal I'm already working on an exhibit for, but that's. Uh, that's taking time, and that will probably be the last video of the series I upload. <laughs> but other than that, basically, I think the plan is we're going to have another exhibit out here, um, maybe another one here, and then one back over that way, and one more heading out this direction, and that'll probably cover it. So I think by the end of May, this series will be done, which is kind of cool, kind of exciting. I've got some big plans for stuff that's going to come after this, which I'm really looking forward to. But yeah. Anyway, that's all for today, so thank you all for watching, hope you've all enjoyed, and until next time everyone, see ya.